This is actually only our second year here. Um, we did we supplied a screen three years ago as for another company, but uh, this is our second year of actually being here ourselves as with our full stand. Um, it works for us really because because it's outdoors and you know what we do is outdoors. <laughs> you know we've uh, we've done a few other shows where the indoor ones. It's uh, logistically very difficult to get everything in, but also I, I think it showcases our screens a lot better when we can have them have them uh, at the show. Um, as in, in terms of what it generates for us, um, well, mainly the chance to show all of our screens. Um, a lot of our customers, uh, a lot of our customers, uh, will only rent one of our screens from us. You know, maybe one of the smaller ones or one of the larger ones. But it, it gets lets us show the whole range that we do all together, and obviously generates a lot of leads. Main reason for coming to the show this year is we've got a brand new model. So this just arrived um, fresh from Germany last night. Um, very excited about it. It's based on the sort of American diner um, theme, um, which is absolutely right for the market at the moment. So we're looking to put our new product in front of the uh, mobile caterers. Sambaba have been exhibiting at the Shome Show for 14 years. Um, whilst I've been with the company for the last five years, I've seen uh, a mixture of like regular clients, guys that we do business with throughout the year, um, but also I see um, at least 60% of the people that come through the stand new, new business potential. Um, and we find over the course of the three shows that we attend each year that the Showman Show is one of the best. What we have is uh, a real wide variety of uh, printed materials. Um, so we brand events of all sorts, everything from um, large scale outdoor sporting events to something a bit more intimate for a, a conference. Well, we've been um, exhibiting here since 2009. Um, we found that there's such a variety of people come here. We've met with people from festivals, from um, large events. We've even had people come here that have suggested a use for our LED signs that we haven't thought of ourselves. So, yeah, it's a good show. Yes, we've also this year introduced a live Twitter feed which we can put on the signs, which can be moderated or it can go um, live, which it's doing at the moment. And uh, what that does, it means that people can tweet to the sign, but also that's also going out in the, like, Twitter sphere so that people that aren't at the event can um, see what's going on and follow the event as it unfolds. We first came to the show eight years ago. We've had a two year break. We decided after a busy year it would be good to come back uh, and see how things were going. This year with the Olympics has been exceptionally busy for the UK event industry. Coming back to the show, a good chance to catch your breath, see existing clients and potentially meet new customers. So we've been exhibiting at the show for about 12 years now. We've always had the same spot on the corner here by the door. Um, it's been a great show to come to. We've always enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of, lot of people from the industry, great to see um, all, the, all the faces that we see during the year and people that we work with and new faces. Great, we really enjoy it. So this year, the, one of the main successes for us has been RFID wristbands. Um, we've had a lot of successes in the States and the UK. Um, and this year we were approached by Event Suisse and Eat Alive and IVS to provide some RFID wristbands so they could use to redeem for free coffees for some of the patrons at the event. Um, so we're delighted to do that and it seems to be working very well. But two th the summer of 2012 has definitely been the birth of RFID, especially over at US size. They've used it for access control for the majority of the large festivals there. A lot of UK festivals have used it in um, in part um, for access control and cashless vending and also for social media integrations and I think we'll see an awful lot more in 2013. And for me, uh, 2012 was really the inflection point where RFID became something that event organisers have become very familiar with. They trust it now. And so we had great success working with Isle of Wight Festival. Uh, I know that Download did a big pilot as well of RFID. And those are really, really kind of showing the industry that next year we want to move on from just VIP areas to full site, full wide deployments. As well. well, we've actually been exhibiting with the Showman Show since the days when it was at Newark. So I actually can't remember how many years that is. It's so long. Okay, the main reason for coming for the show, I mean, we actually like this show. There's a good atmosphere, there's a good feel, there's a nice feel-good factor with this particular show. Uh, one of the main things is we get to see a lot of clients and prospective clients over a two-day period that over the winter would take us an awful lot of time and mileage to actually get around. 
Okay, well the timing of the show really is perfect for us because we've just finished the busy season. Um, we're now starting to look at planning meetings for all of our clients for next year, site visits, site surveys. So it's ideal for the clients to actually come and see here what we've got to offer them for next year, any new products, and then we can take that forward into these planning meetings over the winter. Uh, this is actually his first visit, uh, first time here to exhibit at the Showman Show. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, is mainly to tap into the outdoor uh, events industry market, which we've, uh, said, as sales at Urban Entertainment have been going a couple of years now. <coughs> we have done uh, a few indoor exhibitions, uh, but we've been uh, sort of told this is the, the main one and uh, might benefit as sales with us uh, specialising in, in the sort of outdoor cinema, pop up cinema, driving cinema events. So we're just mainly cap capitalising on that. Uh, we've been exhibiting at the show for about five years, so this will be our sixth year actually. Um, we started inside in a smaller area. Um, we've come outside this year because we've teamed up with Star Events um, and we feel that our services are easier to understand in a bigger environment. Um, a little three by three area is easy for some people. For us, it was very difficult to get our story across. As you can see, there's lots of uh, AV kit and that's what we do. So um, the idea was that Star, no real competitor to us. They basically supply stages, stage covers, rigging, those kinds of things. Uh, we supply all the stuff that goes on it. We're a, a technical AV supplier to the events industry and one of those events industry are live events that happen outside. The reason the showman show is important to the industry and always has been is that um, there isn't anything quite like it. Uh, it's important because people can come and basically do a one-stop shop, particularly if it's an outdoor event. Uh, there, I can't think of anywhere else in Europe where you can actually do that. And the idea behind this particular project with the guys at the at Star Events was to offer a one-stop shop to people. Um, if you're a first time or a tenth time producer of an outdoor event, particularly festival, touring concert, experiential event, you can walk onto this stage, uh, talk to any of us or any of Jane's team and essentially walk away with all the things you need. Yeah, Aqua Learning is um, a learning programme that we've developed which is specifically connected to temporary water supplies. It's part of Watt Training Limited which is a, a water mills group company um, and Aqua Learning is really about learning about the 8551, British Standard 8551 um, and, and how to implement 8551 in a simple way. So for the last year or so we've been uh, developing our training programmes um, which were implemented during the Olympics um, and uh, that's then followed through into the Aqua Learning which we hope to take out to all people involved whether that's um, the organisers, the festival organisers, events organisers, or whether that's the uh, environmental health officers that need to make sure that the, everything's in place. It's probably my favourite favourite show, to be perfectly honest. Um, you get a fantastic quality of, of, of people attending the event who are actually genuinely looking for, for work and, and professional people, whereas I found that lots of the other shows that I've actually attended in the past don't just seem to have a lot of people who just want to come for a day out rather than genuinely want to um, get goods and services so I like the place it's great it's a fun place to be it's incredibly well organized by the Lancers and I hope I'll come here for the next 10 years we've been helping um, the Lancers out with the safety management of the whole show which involves liaison with them um, early on in the year looking at all the contractor risk assessments looking at the site design the crowd management the movement like that and vetting contractors health and safety policies and then we're here all week making sure that the place is built properly and safe and just generally helping out and, and they can comply with the health and safety worker low profile so people can actually enjoy themselves but one of my guys is always walking around the site permanently either in a golf buggy or hiding behind people through the door make sure things are going alright and just keep a, a low profile but professional overview of the health and safety.